Well, What's your name, Dickhead? Uh, no. That's Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy, that's it. Okay, he wants to know how to bleed brakes. Well. So he wants to make a mess on my ground. No. So, what I keep telling you? You're saying air goes up, fluid goes down. That's how it works. I bleed them the old automotive style, and you're saying so, you don't do it that way. You take this thing and go like this with it. Now it's the air is filling out. Now the air can come up. It's going to spill out if I fill it up too much. What is it that full for? It's probably not because it's been leaking for a while. See those banjo washers. So you've been leaking where? What do we do to fix that? Right at the banjo washers, took the banjo bolt off, surfaced both sides of the... How'd you surf it? Just did, on you, the, did you rub it on the concrete out here? No. Oh. Use some wet and dry or emery cloth on a hard flat surface. Sand and paper. And Looked vaguely like the same shit I just did my heads on over there. Yeah. So is the fluid coming out yet? I resurfaced the washers. Is, and is the, the air going to come bolt. out now? Oh, the air is going to come out now. <laughs> the air is going to come out. That appears to be purple. Yes. It's okay. a dot five synthetic. Is this tight here yet? Yes. Okay, now what happens if you squeeze a lever? Uh, oh, air comes up, fluid goes down. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look how much you move your lever, see? Look at all oh, that air coming out of there. Look at that. Why is it doing that? Because uh, there's polywogs in there. Because the polywogs are burping? Or yeah. are, they, are they farting? Which one is it? Well, there were frogs and they jumped out and left some polywogs in there, so they're bubbling. Here we got no more air. Okay, now you go in and work the line a little bit. Get the air out of the system. Appeared to have a pretty hard lever. Is that about how much you had before? But it's not squirting fluid in my face, which it should be doing when I do that. Wow. No, before I'd so grab feel the brake, does it feel like normal? I'd grab it and there was nothing and I'd have to pump it up about five pumps. Do you have nothing there? No, I have something. I have half. Well, I don't know what you have normally. Well, normally it was like real stiff because it's new caliper, new lines, new, yeah. new, new, new. I bet you if you squeeze it like that, the front wheel locks up. <laughs> Dumbass. Uh. All right, well, you're not pumping up any further. I think you got the air out and the fluid in now. Yeah. I would recommend that you put the cover back on the bike and go see what happens. And when you get home, you can fill it up with your fluid because uh, it'll be the same crap you got instead of whatever I got. Yeah. Well, the crap I have is the crap you sold me. Yeah, well, so. that crap changes when the bottles change. Yeah, crap. As the suppliers change. Do we do that right, Scooby? Do we do that? Yeah. Where's the Scooby? Who's gonna hunt something? He's looking so, for a rat. You looking for a rat? Where's that rat? Look at that rat. Gonna refresh the audience here. So what was going on is audience. Do we have one of those? When I went to brake, there was lever all the way to the grip, no brakes. Then I pump it up, I had brakes. But uh -huh. there was little traces of fluid around the banjo washers. Okay, now you go one, 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 one. It's in the same spot every time. It ain't pumping up. It must be broken. So, every time I went for a ride, there was fluid on my face and on my gas tank. What are you doing, Scooby? What are you looking for? Not enough where it was dripping, just enough where it's squirting out when I'm riding. Where's your ball? Get that ball. Get your ball. Where's your ball? Where's your ball at, Scooby? Where's it at? Get your ball. Do you want to tell everybody not to over-tighten this? Nope. Where's your ball at? Scooby, get your ball. Go get your ball. Go get your ball. Go get your ball. Go get it. Where's your ball? Go get it. Unlike everything else on a shovel head that you twerk until just before the nuts, that bolt's gonna snap off. Where's your ball? Let's go. That ain't a ball. He don't want to play with the ball. He's looking for a rat. Where's that Master rat? Cylinder Where's your rat at? Lid. He's gonna get a rat. It just needs to be snug. Or maybe a possum. They're about the same size. Yeah, he's out there playing. He's looking for something that he'll play with. 
There we go. Dick Tracy over here won't play with them. Oh, I was playing. Are those. you done now? See, look, there's brake fluid on my gas tank. It's not going to hurt it any. Yeah, because I switched over to the synthetic. You put that crappy dot bob on there so it screws up the paint now, right? I hope not. You're going to wipe it off? You're going to leave it there? No, nah, you know, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Here, I'll just squirt some brake cleaner on and blow the paint off. That'll here. work. A little brake cleaner, some carb cleaner. It says you got 1,187 miles on this. Yeah, you think it's time to retorque the cylinders and the heads and check the spark plugs? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you will. No, that's a job for you. Not me. Isn't this motor warrantied? It's warrantied about two seconds ago. How's the clutch? You've been dicking with it all day. Oh, it looks so easy now. It's it's a lot softer. Hopefully, it'll still hold all the horsepower. Uh, probably not. Because that other clutch. All right, so you can go test your brakes out and see if it stops now. The stock clutch, I well with Barnett plates and stock clutch. I Did you wipe off all the excess there. fluid over here so there's no fluid? Why is my finger wet? See, that's not how you clean up a system. See, my finger has fluid on it. So it looks like it's leaking to me unless you clean the fluid off. I would use something clean like maybe that shirt right there. Yeah, it's clean like your shirt. And just make sure there's no residue anywhere. That way when your fingers screw it, you won't get fluid on it. Like I just got on my fingers over here. Well, I'm hoping it's not leaking. We'll get Scooby over here to lick it. If it's still leaking, then the, then the reservoir is cracked. So we'll see. All right. So how's that work again? Like that. Air goes up, fluid goes down. Don't forget. Real yeah. complicated. Yeah. So very, this motor is warranted like five miles or five minutes, whichever comes first. Well, I haven't ridden it yet, so it must live. It'll live forever. <laughs> if I ride it, there's no bets on that. All right, can I get some real work done now? Yeah. Good. We're gonna work on something oh, important. Okay, show off those washers. Oh, jeez. Those, those super washers that didn't come loose yet. The super shovelhead washers I told you to put on the bike. Yeah. What yeah, are they nobody called? knows what kind of super washers they are. Because you didn't tell them what they were. I don't remember what they're called. They're called super washers. <laughs> shovelhead proof. When was the last time you torqued that bolt? Uh, never. 1,100 miles ago. Yes, 1,100 miles ago. That's impressive. Uh, it's one of those double tapered, double counter rolling tapered washers. And everything's still nice and tight. So I'm going to have to buy some of those so I can sell them now? Well, now is bragging. <laughs> yeah, it appears to be loose. <laughs> it's still tighter than the last ones. But considering that I've ridden the shit out of this, so you're gonna tighten that bolt up now? Yeah. That it hasn't come loose for 1,100 miles. Can you show that again? How loose it is? <laughs> Doing burnouts yeah. and how much this this 93 cubic inch stroker motor vibrates? That's pretty impressive, and it still hasn't wiggled out though. It's a little loose, just needs to be torqued, but well, it hasn't fallen out. Torque bolt at? How loose oh. is that bolt? It's not going to fall well, out. Go get an Allen. Where's your Allen at, sir? In your bucket. It's in my, no, it's next to my bucket over there, not in my bucket. It's in its own holder. Scooby, go bite him. Yeah, go bite him. Yeah, that's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Scooby likes that. Why are you in my bucket? I told you next to the bucket. You got to pull that crap out of your ears so you can hear. It's in the bucket because I used it already. Right. Oh, you put my tools back in the wrong spot is what you're saying. No, that's where I took it out of from earlier. That's not the right tool. That's not even the right size. Why don't you grab the Allens like I told you. You know, if you listen to me, things go a lot easier. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, that's it. Right in the bucket there. Look at that. These things. Some morons call these L wrenches. Those are called Allens. <laughs> some morons call them L wrenches. Yeah, they're called Bundus Allens too because they're the good ones. How many years old are those? And these are probably from the 70s. 70s? No, not quite that old. 80s. Probably late 80s, 90s, yeah. Early 90s, late 80s. That's okay. a pretty good freaking guess. So how far did you tighten it? That was a pretty guess. Pretty good guess, huh? How much are you going to tighten that? 
Well, let's see. What's the torque we're going to try to set up? Set wow, that's freaking moving about. That's a quarter turn almost. That was one flat. <laughs> one flat if it was a hex head, yeah. It is a hex head, it's an island. Dumbass. Dumbass. Look at that. That's pretty tight. Did you strip it yet? <coughs> Pull so, it down, what are you waiting for? I'll take a different bite on it. Didn't I fix these heads for you? Yes. That means they got hardened aluminum in them things. See, that's... Oh. Are you trying to make a muscle or are you just showing off? It's turning a little bit. You're stripping. No. Is the pipe moving around like it was? Nope. Yeah, a little bit. Well, it's a little, a little. So, what's this tell you about your maintenance schedule? Uh, to check the bolts on the exhaust manifold more than every 1,100 miles. Let's try miles. like 500 miles. Yeah. Every 500 miles. Let's try that. Is that piece of crap kicker in the way? It doesn't look like it. That's why you don't put kickers on motorcycles. They're in the way of everything. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's check the front one. Yeah, how's the front it. one? How many turns? Still, like I'm saying, this is impressive because the old hardware would have fallen off. You were impressed a long time ago. It doesn't mean it's any good. I know. So we have a failure on one bolt. I impress myself on a daily basis. Oh, wait a second. Look, like it moved. That was one flat. Still didn't fall out, though. It didn't so, fall out. Those washers are still impressive. Now, do you think maybe the gasket gave up some of its gasketing? Well, yeah. Is that two flats, Mel? I think so. Oh, shit. You sure you didn't strip it? I hope not. It's feeling like it's getting a little snug. I hope so. It's three flats now. That wasn't three. It was like two. You hear it? Uh, it looks like they both really loosened up the same amount. I'm guessing the gaskets are probably giving a little bit. Yeah, the gaskets probably burn out some. Yeah, well, there you go. I still haven't found a good gasket for a shovel head that'll last for more than 1,100 miles. <laughs> more than 1,100 miles without <laughs> giving up the ghost? Yeah. I think it gave up the ghost long before 1,100 miles. It just, you just finally checked them at 1,100 miles. Yeah. But still, it, it wasn't... There's no signs of it blowing exhaust out, which is good. No which exhaust means leaks on the who, shovel head. Whoever did the uh, cylinder head work, which was Tetra Machine. I don't know who would have ever worked on a shovel head. Uh, must have done a pretty good job because a lot of these shovel heads, they're so wobbled out, there's no way you can stop them from leaking. They just freaking leak. They do. You put two or three gaskets on them. Can you put four gaskets? <laughs> No, but I've seen guys put two gaskets trying to freaking make I'm it I'm thinking work. if two is good, four is even twice as better. The problem is if you get too many gaskets, then you can't get, you can't get your... They make wrench. longer bolts. Yeah, but it hits on the pipe. It's okay. You just get longer bolts. You cut the pipe. You put a hole in the pipe, dimple it or whatever. Look, bolt at, look at this beautiful wrap job. Yeah, right over. That's done by Kelly Tracy. Yeah. 1,100 miles still not coming off. I remember how long it took you to do that, too. Oh, come on. Yeah. I, I wrapped it twice. Not counting them on fucking three days of video time you spent. No. Checking out how to do it. No. Yeah. I did it better than anybody else does it online. I checked. I couldn't find anybody to do a and job. And that's why we call them Dick Tracy. Other people are wrapping them backwards. Yeah. See, see how this goes like fish scales? I don't know which way you fish feel on it. So the theory is when, you're, when your foot bumps the pipe, which is going to go backwards, it's not going to... So are you saying you got the leading edges toward the rear of the bike so yes. it goes faster and not slower? That mm -hmm. and so it doesn't come undone when uh, you hit it with your foot. Which means you have to start where? You have to start... At the muffler, at the dumbass. muffler and move forward. And you finish at the head pipe. Which is the option most people do, yeah. And you use a nice hose clamp instead of the little wimpy ass frickin' metal zip so you ties. So you use a real hose clamp and not the crappy ties you did originally. Yes. That probably came loose. No, I didn't even bother using them. Oh, I didn't trust them. You didn't trust them. I gave them to another guy and they came loose on his bike. Oh, shit. You should see this kid try to wrap his pipes. 
What a mess. Did was. he use the last two inches that you had left over? Well, no, he's, look at how uniform my wraps are. He yeah. had his going from quarter to half to an inch to three quarters, so it was a freaking yeah, mess. Yeah, you redid those like four times, I remember. No, I did these twice. Yeah, let's see. That's twice per pipe, that's four times. No. <laughs> that's twice. All right, I got some real work done. Are we done screwing around over here? Yeah. Okay. What about Scooby? Scooby want to do it? Scooby wants to go back to work too. Now we're going to work on something important. <laughs>